Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today we are doing a Halloween DIY. My Jack Skellington uh, mug is already out. And yes, I know it's August. But I just cannot help myself because Halloween is my jam. Halloween is my absolute favorite season. I could have it for like four or five months. There's a lead up program with me. All of that. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. I got a bunch of DIYs. I got some Halloween makeup, decor, all of it is coming up. So we are gonna make pool noodle candlesticks. This is something that can be done relatively cheap and easy. It can be fun for the entire family. I've made candlesticks my height. I've made them on plates. I've made them on platters. I've made them with skulls, you name it. So we're gonna just do a redo. Something very simple, easy, quick, and cheap. Cheap is a good keyword for DIY projects. So let's just hop right into this video, you guys. What we're gonna need, obviously, is a pool noodle. This is just your standard pool noodle. It is fairly long. I say, I say this is a mid-sized pool noodle. You can get them in different lengths, different shapes, different sizes. I go for the circular ones at the dollar store. They're $1.25. Um, I also picked up a plate from the dollar store. You do not need this. You, I have used, um, like, wood like MDF board, I cut it in a circle. You can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna put this one on a plate. This was really cheap, this was $2. Um, one of the biggest things that I will recommend to you is using a serrated knife, so like a bread knife for cutting foam. It is the absolute best for cutting foam. So obviously I might actually scooch you guys back just a little bit. There, I'll have you guys scooch back. Um, so. What we're gonna do, I also have some like little doodads I'm gonna put on them. These are optional, but like hands, I got some bats. These are all from the dollar store. I got some wooden things. I'll give you guys a close up of that later. You also will need either spray paint or acrylic paint. So first things first, I wanna make a short candle stack. So I'm gonna stack them on here, but you're gonna take your noodle and you wanna cut it like diagonally. So you can do this one of three ways. You can uh, make a kind of line with a marker. You can eyeball it, which I will probably do. Or you can use a rubber band if you're questioning yourself and just make sure one edge is going diagonally down. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I know that I want like my first candlestick to be fairly tall because this will be the back one. So I'll probably go like there. This is just me eyeballing it. And when you're cutting, you wanna go on the diagonal. So we'll just start there. Just like that. So that's what I mean by a diagonal cut, just like that. And all your other candlesticks, I'm just gonna clean this edge up a little bit. All your other candlesticks will be shorter than the first one you do. So there we've got one. So now you see how we have... You see how this one is already tapered at the end because that was the other pair to this? Now you're gonna just wanna cut a piece straight across and flat. So I always measure them to see kind of where I would like it to be. So like something like that maybe. i just go and make a flat bottom. So now we've got two candlesticks just like that. And I'm gonna do the same with these and obviously these are gonna be quite a lot shorter. So also what I do with these, so you see how this little hole here, cause that's where your little flickering light's gonna be. I make a little bit of an X in here before I do anything just because that will be easier for you to put your little tea lights in there in the end after it's all painted and come together like this. I lowered you guys so you guys can see. So here's my plate. I'm gonna arrange the candlesticks so the tallest one in the back and just kind of arrange them in the front to kind of where I want to see them, maybe like that. And I got two of these smaller ones. So maybe like there. And then I'm gonna take elastic bands and get some ones that stretch pretty far, just so you can kind of temporarily hold this little 
unit together. So what you wanna do is get a glue gun ready. I usually have a big glue gun, but for some reason I have misplaced it. So I'm gonna use my little one. You want some glue sticks. I've used all kinds of glue sticks. I like the Gorilla glue sticks the best. And what you're gonna wanna do is hot glue these together. You don't need a whole bunch. I just do a little bead. And if your glue gun is too hot, it will melt the foam, so just be aware of that. And just make sure you get all of the pool noodles. So once you kind of have them all together, you can go ahead and take your elastic bands off. And I can see this one needs a little bit more dry time. So they are all glued together. Now what you want to do is make it look like there's wax dripping off of them. So you'll take your glue gun and to do drips, I start at the bottom and work my way up the top and you don't need a whole bunch. You just need a little bit to make it look like there's some drippage off of your candlesticks. You can maybe see that a little bit better if I bring it close. So I'm just doing, I'm starting at the bottom, pulling a little bit and just dragging upwards. And once we paint it, it will look like dripping wax. So once you've kind of got some wax drippage on there, you don't need a whole bunch. It's just like a little extra thing you can do. I picked up some like their wooden, like crafting pieces. It says wooden decorations from the dollar store. And if you want to, this is an optional thing. You can put, you know, things on these candles. So for example, the little skull and crossbones I might put here. You just wanna make sure they're small enough and will fit within the curvature of the candle. So I'm gonna put this one skull and crossbones here, just a thin kind of layer of glue on the back. Just pop them in there maybe. You can do them up top or closer. I also have some spiders. So pop some of those on there maybe. Maybe a spider right in the middle, that looked nice. So this is the next kind of bit that you kind of want to be aware of. You could want to be sure where you want this place. So if you want to put like heads and skulls or hands or something on the plate itself, make sure you allow room for that. I have done that in the past, but I think I'm just gonna do candlesticks on a platter. So I'm just gonna glue these down and you don't need a whole bunch. Another thing you can do is you can do like pooling wax at the bottom at the very base of this if you so choose to. Once again, that is an optional thing. So next thing I wanna do is paint this guy out. So if you do not feel comfortable painting on your base, paint the candlesticks first once you have them all together and then place it on its base. I feel confident myself that I'm gonna be able to paint this without getting it on my plate. So I'm gonna take, this is just acrylic paint and you can use spray paint. I have used spray paint. Just be aware that some spray paints will eat pool noodles. So that is um, just something to be aware of. So I'm gonna mix black and a white paint together. And I wanna make kind of like a bone gray color. And you will need quite a lot and there will be a little bit of dry time. So I'm just gonna take my black and white and just start kind of making a gray bone type of color. And remember Halloween decorations aren't perfect. The fun part of them is, is the little kind, not necessarily mistakes, but the little like revealing factors that it's not perfect. So for example, my pool noodle here has nicks in the back. I'm just gonna paint over them as if 
that's just how it was meant to be, how it is supposed to be. You can do them different colors. You can do them, you know, multitude of different ways. I just like this kind of bone gray kind of dust color. I'm gonna paint over the wax for now and then I will go in with a little bit of detail later and do the, um, like the wax melt in another color. You don't have to do that. You can actually use a wax crayon as well. You might need a couple of layers, by the way. Um, foam tends to really suck up acrylic paint, so you wanna make sure you have a base layer down and then go into um, the top layer. So I'm gonna continue painting this guy out and I will see you once the base layer is on and dried. So now I've got my candlesticks all kind of painted this kind of chalky gray color. I'm gonna throw some silver on as well. And then I'm gonna leave my candlesticks this color, but you can do any color you like. In the past, I've done purple and black. You can do green candlesticks. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this silver acrylic. I think it's pretty watered down though. And I'm just gonna add it to just a little bit of these candles and just kind of like whitewash them in a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a technique that I saw on Pinterest. So I really hope that it works. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep kind of whitewashing this in here. And it doesn't need to be perfect. As I said, the kind of raw and kind of more undone Halloween decor is. You're probably looking at your project right now being like, oh my God, this is not working out for me. It will work out for you, I promise. So yeah, I just keep whitewashing it down. You may need to add a couple layers of paint. If you're using acrylic, usually with spray paint, it only takes me maybe a layer, maybe a layer and a half. And as you can see, I've gone into the holes in the middle and I've painted those out as well, just lightly. You don't have to get too precise with them, just so you have more or less the backside of it um, covered up. I have been known to use glow in the dark paint on projects like these, and you can actually get that fairly readily available in the dollar store. This technique also is more or less tailored for indoors. Um, for outdoors, I would highly, highly recommend you use spray paint and use a sealer as well. But I just wanted to kind of give you an insight on how I do my candlesticks. I've taken a um, wax crayon. You can get them from the restaurant that you go to for lunch. You can get them from the dollar store. And I have put it in my hot glue gun. So see, there's my wax. And when I do this, it's not gonna be like glue. So what I wanna do is take some and let it work its way up again. But this will give me that candle drippage in kind of wax. It is a lot more liquidy than glue, so just be aware of that. But I go over my glue lines with the crayon wax. Like I said, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but ideally what you wanna do, so you can drip from the top even with the candle wax because it will make its own kind of drips. See that? See how it just kind of makes a little bit of a I mean, to be very fair, mine kind of sizzles a little bit. So I can't turn this glue gun down. So this is kind of, if you wanted to paint out the glue, uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I've got the neon acrylic um, green paint here, and I'm just gonna take some of it very, very lightly and just kind of hit those wax strips, just like that. Just those um, glue drips that you made previous, just kind of ever so lightly go over them, just like that. 
I'm going to finish painting these drips out and getting the candle wax to warm up enough. And then we will add some decorations. So basically when you're done, it looks something like this. I have put some hands, like little hands in there, some little, um, like the little skeleton hands. And I just kind of glued those in there. And you can go ahead and decorate with whatever you want. I've got like an old set of keys that I might lay on there. But the biggest thing is, is you want tea lights. And I happen to have an abundance of makes and models because I borrow them from places like weddings and things like that. So what you're going to want to do, and this is, this is really key when we made the X's. The reason why I made us, made you, informed you to make X's in the um, pool noodles is so when the tea lights go in, you can see how these obviously aren't the same size. And you could go to the... You could go to the extreme of cutting the holes out that size. I don't. I just make an X in the top and that way it becomes more flexible. And you can just pop them in like that. So you have a little tea light in the top. You want to let yours completely dry. I mine's still a little bit wet, wet, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you why we make the X's because they just sit in there so much better than just kind of on top or you know cutting them out. I've tried a whole bunch of different things, but so obviously I did these candles uh, more white. If you do them more black, find some dark tea lights. Or you could paint your tea lights. I mean, I've got orange ones. There's a whole bunch of different kinds, makes and models. More than likely at your local um, dollar store. So once again, I just pull back on them and don't be, don't be shy with it. Like, it's all right. So just like that, I just pop them in there just like so. And once you have it all filled up, it is super, super beautiful and gorgeous. And I mean, one, you could style it just like this. If you wanted to, you could put skulls and um, birds or like other bottles on it, for example. So I picked up these guys at the dollar store. And if you wanted to add some color, I mean, you could style it with these on there as well. Like, don't be shy with that kind of stuff. Um, Halloween is super, super fun and it's for everyone. And you can d decorate as creepy and as crawly as possible. So get, you guys, that's kind of it for today's video. My name's Kat, as always, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for coming along on this little DIY pool noodle, super cheap decor. I want you to comment down below of other DIYs you want me to make and help you make. This one is just one of my fun favorite kind of quick and easy ones. This one can be done with kids, it can be done with you know adults, what have you. This just makes for a really fun kind of house decor type of Halloween prop. I really, really enjoy making these. I've made a number of them now. Like I said, I've made them as tall as me. I've made them on plates. I've made them on heads. You can do almost anything with it and decorate it the way you feel like. As I said before, this one is pretty much tailored for inside unless you seal the paint on it. I will let you know that the dry time on this is um, like quite a while. If you use acrylic paints, you are going to want to let it dry for quite some time. If you use spray paint, it's not as long. Um, but you can, you know, put some candies on the dish. You can put some other decor on the dish, whatever you choose to do with it. And this is kind of a lead up to my Halloween decor house reveal. So you will see this in the reveal. I'll decorate it up and kind of show you guys all the little DIYs I've done throughout the season with you guys hanging along. So thank you all for stopping in. My name's Kat. As always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Welcome to spooky season. I'm so glad you guys are here. So yeah, we'll see you guys in my next video.